carry these kinds of big games on the national stage have eluded you in the past? What was mm -hmm. different tonight? Uh, confidence, definitely confidence. Um, you know, in the past it's been normally like a missed shot on my behalf, just, you know, maybe nerves. But the fact that maybe all those experiences has helped in this situation. So, I mean, I would certainly give all those away to win tomorrow. A lot of people are going to be surprised to see you in the final, are you? No, no, no. You know what? We, we started off really good this season. We've worked really, really hard, but we did some different things and things that maybe cost us a few games, but that was fine. And our sports psychologist kept saying, it's a process, it's a process. We're gearing up for uh, the Olympic trials and we just believed and yeah, we've cur curled well all week. And even in the losses, we curled really well and we just got out curled like, you know, one or two shots. But the team, I mean, we're light out there, we're having fun, we're making some shots. And I think that's what the difference is. How much would Jennifer would certainly have more experience in the big game. Yes. Oh, what do you need to do right now? Uh, I think we need to play like we have played all week. That's it. <laughs> what, 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 by saying that, what do you mean? Like, well, I think just, you know, we, we've uh, we've ca called a really smart game, minus a couple strategic errors when the focus has been off. But we've called a very smart game. We've worked hard at a game plan. Um, we've hard, worked hard at it all year, and, and that's you know, it's a very simple game plan. And I know Jennifer likes to have rocks in play, but you know what? We're not going to get sucked into that game. The fact that I have confidence in my draw weight, that if it does come down to having to draw the forefoot to, to get a single point, that's fine. And I think, um, you know, the crowds will be cheering for Jennifer, but that's fine. I think we've gained a few few fans here, so and I'm hoping, uh, you know, we make some great shots and they'll get behind us. If you were the underdog going into this game. Oh, definitely, yeah, and that's fine. Yeah. Did, did it make you feel? What does it feel like when the underdog? Well, home? you know what, and I wouldn't even say necessarily like, oh wow, you know, Madabi Holman. I think people were expecting her to make the big shots, and she's got the big weight. She usually has great draw weight, so she's got all the shots in her pocket. So. We didn't consider ourselves the underdogs, but we knew we had to curl really well to beat her. Sherry, what would it mean to you to finally get the Olympics after your fourth trial? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for fourth Olympic trials and a pre-trial, so it could have been five, but it would be an absolute dream come true. And, you know, especially all the years that um, I've been around the game and I know the hard work that we've been put into it. And, I mean, we're the best of friends on and off the ice, so it would mean a lot. Because you and Jennifer were tied coming out of the wrong Robin uh, at 84%, does it maybe come down to... You know, what the other people do in, in the final? Or? Oh, I did, and I didn't even know that. I haven't seen the stats all week. So, uh, no, it's probably just going to come down to making the big shot when it does happen and uh, making a crucial draw if, if we're forced to, you know, take a point. But, um, you know, and then having set up shots in front of us. And I know my team's been curling really well.